Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the obligatory Pills of Eternity game. Eternity series! Um, I'm going to be playing normal, expert mode. Uh, if you want to see what kind of auto-pause stuff I have going on here, it's, um, I don't know, maybe a little bit on the high side, but we'll find out soon. Uh, and without further ado, we're going to get right into it. I'm not going to do too much of a spiel. I'm sure you could find out about it. What find out what you'd like to do, but the short of it is, uh, you remember Baldur's Gate? Remember Icewind Dale? That's what you got here, baby. This is what you got here. So, uh, we are going to be playing a druid of some form. I think that's going to... Yeah, that's the plan. Um, we're going to play a druid. Uh, we're going to play a boar druid. And his name's going to be Gamorian. If you don't get the reference, that's fine. I've been playing a lot of Star Wars, uh, Edge of the Empire, recently. And I've got, I've got giant pig people on the brain. So, we're going to pick a giant pig man and be him. Uh, this game's a little bit heavy on the dialogue side of things, so there might not be a whole lot of talking going on on my side of things, but that's okay, you know? Just more relaxed LP. And I'm glad this loading screen is taking so long, right? So glad. So glad it's taking so long. Uh, Five wagons let you guys listen. Finally for the path on a starless night. Their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. It's dysentery. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Or maybe ever. So, what's our dysentery... Dysenterious, sad individual going to be named? Well, I mean, I already said that, spoiled it. Oops. Um, if it would load... All right. Male. Um, I've been thinking about this. I kind of want to make a dwarf. You know, big, tough, a little bit slow. I'm okay with that. Uh, we shall be a boreal dwarf. So we can have sweet, weird-ass, like, uh, juggalo tattoos. Uh, as I mentioned before, druid. I mean, if you want to look at, you know, what the classes are, do some research on your own. Or, you know, check a couple other videos out there. I'm probably not going to do a overview video. And I, honestly, if some of these guys have no clue what they do. I just want to be a boar man. So, um, regenerates endurance. Endurance is good. Um, yeah, it's basically part of their health. It's kind of like stress as opposed to hit points. Kind of that's the way it is. Uh, and got DOTs on the attacks. Let's pick boar. Um, all right. So, I want to be a damage doer. And I want to know stuff. And that gives me reflex, right? Oh, perception is deflection. Okay, yeah. How about we do this? Sure. Decent perception, good constitution, good might. Um, we have a, some cultures that we can go through. So, maybe I'll see if I can grab a perception. We also start with different stuff, depending on what we take, too. Um, do I want a spear, or do I want a sword and board? Probably going to take a sword and board. It's going to be that. Uh, starting skills. I think we'll do lore and athletics. Hmm. I'd like to have lore. Just, you know, so we can read shit. Maybe lore survival. Yeah, that seems good. And do the obligatory beardening. Um... Yeah, we gotta take these dumb things. Yeah, your dwarfs need a beard. Let's see here. Does that look druidy? Does that look druidy to you guys? I think this looks druidy. Sure, why not? 
Um, skin tone, I'm fine with that. Just don't really care. Next. This is kind of close. I mean, you know, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look at that. Missing some tattoos, but you know, this, this is like his, his like learner's license picture. Well, now I am the leader of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if somebody said that to you? Oh dear. Uh, keeping quiet. Yeah. Follow me. Let's go. I like the stoic. Gamorian. The Dwarven Druid. Let's see what's happening. New quest, the Gilded Veil. Caravan Master finishes addressing the group, his bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering as a parenthesis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you Touch over. Of the rumbling rot could be. Dysentery. There's a stinging beetle round here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. Woo! There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know Woo! You I'm not gonna die. It's much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Sparfel nods and slides the worn bow over his shoulder. Um, what are these huge rocks coming you out of the ground? Audra, where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like Audra. this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world. You believe the stories? All right, I should probably keep doing my stunty voice. Let's do like it. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own dies if it gets dug up loses its luster folks think it probably grew at one point or another but not these days the mystery the deepens defiance bay use it for different things i've heard tell it can hold a man's soul but i don't care to see it yeah. got enough to worry about without seeing something like that i could about these hold berries on. take someone with you i know you're not some helpless tenderfoot not like most of this lot but you drop dead. I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. Aw, he likes us. He scans over the travelers, resting his eyes at length on a sturdy, armor-clad woman who has spent the journey's nights sleeping on uneven ground without blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! The woman looks up on her own time. To find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. <laughs> Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. Beowick. Beowick. Let's get going sure. before you keel over. Ooh, let's not die. All right. Steady so, let see if we can sneak with their old alt. Um, select all, you know, the kind of usual number of things. Check out our characters, what they can do. She's a pretty beefy lady, that's good. Um, keeping quiet. Can also look at things. No, I can't sneak into that, but we can loot things as we like. You know, it's important. This is, you know, an Infinity Engine Anyone game, gotta be able to loot shit. I've got sundries for sale. What you got, Hodan? Hyodan? You see a man wearing simple but mostly neat clothes. He's transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the seam of his tunic. A whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. He scratches one cheek with his knuckles. It's covered with uneven stubble, as if he hasn't quite gotten used to shaving on the Say, road. Is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale, if you'd like to take a look. Let's see what you've got. Um, got some stuff. 
which I probably don't need to buy. Um, let's see here. It's probably not what I want. I want the inventory. Uh, she's got an axe. I've got a sword and board. Um, not great armor. Hers is a little bit better. That's horseshit. So, looks fine. Um, oh, I probably should mention this. We do have a couple, you know... What should I call this? Pre-order items? I'm not going to use them. Because that's boring and cheating. I'm not even going to sell them. They don't exist as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's go searching. Walking around. Oh god, horses! Alright, it's fine. Oh, oh, oh. Orland's Cradle, what's that? Why is this not part of my inventory? Stash. The stash holds all the player's extra items. Hmm, okay. The fallen tree doesn't budge. Sap oozes from the jagged wound in its trunk. Not looking forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. It'll be fine. You're a big buff lady. You got this. Walking around. Oh, oh who's this? Sparful. I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. You're probably right, but I'm going to die if I don't drink that, dude. Please help. Let's see. Dear, get it, get it, get it. It's too fast. We're too slow. Oh, what do we have going on here? Travelers, maybe looters. Lockpicks. Leather armor. Hmm. Interesting. So that's padded armor. Take a little bit heavier stuff. An old corpse here too. Huh. Interesting. It's a pretty pretty game so far. I like it. Um Let's check across the map or the bridge here, I think. Going down here. Ah, yes. The Infinity Engine wandering around. This oh, what's this? Not good. The booze. I require the booze. Oh. Uh, all right. Beer. Give me the beer. It's recent. Not good. Got some dudes hanging around. Dry cap, excellent. Oh, I hate that this lady runs faster than me. I know I'm a dwarf. But still. Hmm. That's disconcerting. Maybe Sparfle's in on it. That bastard. Um. I thought there's a way to. S ah, yes, there's a double speed button. Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. Let's check by the check those outcroppings. outcroppings. See a wolf. All right. That's not what I wanted. Time to. Oh, what kind of spells do I have? Sure, let's laser him. What you need? And you, my dear. Go hit him up. Um, in fact, just go knock him down. Zap. Hmm. Poor mode. Take him down. Squish. All right, straight our target. Easy. What you need? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a boar man. I love it. Poor wolf. This is uh, it. This is it. Oh, Barry's right. Adima says you've had some interesting travels. 
Hmm. Die zat in de frontier for a time. Raiders destroyed my house, took everything, and the bill blows all all. It's a damn bull round of luck. Maybe the new setting will turn things around for you. Been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Lord Raedric's offer. Makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle like the rest of the lot? It's a hard offer to pass up. Arnold the farmer. You won't find many offers like it in these parts, believe me. Got some big plan in store? Hmm. Gotta try and settle. Start a new life. Uh, tell me about yourself, Kalis Kalisha. Simple needs, likes exploring, wandering family. My brother on Rawatai and another on Adir. My sister's in Gale Vale. Okay. Dry woods. <laughs> Used to be part of the Adir Empire and then broke off. That's awesome. No touch. People having trouble giving birth, I guess. A lot of them. Being gone for years now. But somehow it's getting worse. I'll have to ask my sister about it. Alright, let's get back to camp. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Sparfle's getting your water anytime soon. He does what he feels like, when he feels like it. We should check up on him first. Slap him around a little. Stream's just down that way. Come on, let's get your water. Alright. On race car mode! Ooh, it's a plant. The path winds through an air canyon back the way you came. Oh, where'd Sparfle go? I cram myself in here. Help, I'm stuck. He was there. Where'd he go? Maybe he's down here? Okay. Oh, goddamn. Gotta get that mouse stuck on the screen. Or just maybe disable two screens. Well, you crouch at the riverbank and dip your water skin into the cool water while Kalisha waits nearby, keeping watch. As you rise, you notice her look up sharply towards the tree line. Out of the tree emerges Sparfle, one of the guides, barely discernible in the dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow, and there's a strangeness to his gait, a spastic wobble in his ordinarily deft stride as he moves towards you with labored breath. Sparful? Kalisha frowns. Are you all right? Sparfle's toe catches on a rock, and he collapses forward in a heap, the feathered shaft and arrow planted between his shoulders like an enemy flag. Uh-oh. Ambush. Okay. So we got a hunter. Um, what so you got? Looks like an arrow of some form? So... Yeah. Cause any area effect to glow with pale green light. Um. Okay. Let's cast that What's there. It? And you go beat the shit out of this lady. Yeah. Then we'll bore up. Mm -hmm. Ah. Flee! All right. What you need? Knock this bad boy down, yeah. and you just go Tuscan Raider on her ass. Yeah. Get knocked down. Get bored. Success. All right. Who's next? Ooh, got some good gear too. Hunting bow, hide armor, some coinage. Is that all of them? All right. I like quiet. that hobble spell. That's pretty good. Uh, I think I'll. Oh, I'm like, oh, I think I'll approach this calmly. Oh, they're they're all dead. They're all dead. Hmm. What you need? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let's knock down this guy. Sure. Oh, butts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knock his ass down. 
Um. Knock his ass down. And let's yeah. focus attacks here. Squish. Oink oink. Womp. All right, two guys down. Stupid loot. Um, sure, let's take it all. Steady does it. Some more sneaking. Do, do, do. All around you lie the massacred remains of the other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hilts, splayed and bug-eyed and filthy on the blood-damp earth. Kalisha puts the back of her left hand to her mouth as if to ward away the horror like a poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stands above the fallen, treading on limbs and backs and heads, jerking their axes from bodies as from half-split logs as they prepare to aid, add you to the sprawling pile beneath them. One of them, towering and severe with a thick beard tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of a young man you recognize as Heoden, the last of your caravan left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight you will lose. Hmm. The good triangles either way, we make it easy. <laughs> the man gives a slight a sideways nod of his head, perhaps acknowledging the astuteness of your response. Many things happen. The only one who can you can be sure of is that if you hold your weapons, I'll drain this blood upon the ground. So I say again, lay down your arms. Don't trust them, they mean to kill us all. Um Ooh, cool. Judging by the string of animal teeth around your neck, I'm guessing you are worshippers of Galloway. Galloway told you to stop to protecting these ruins, would you? The man frowns and motions as if to swing his axe. Heiren winces, but the blow never comes. Instead, the man cocks his head, intrigued. Of course, but he would not. It is by the command of all the gods that we accept this charge. How do you know? Because it's consistent with our beliefs, or because of what you were told? It has always been known to my people. I see. What of Galloway's edict that weakness and age must be purged by youth and strength? You think Galloway would want some moldy, crumbling stones to survive long after the buildings have turned to dust? He would not. He told us otherwise. Sure he did. Just not you personally. But why should that stop you from killing innocents? Distracted, the man's grip falters on his axe handle, and he nearly fumbles it, affording Heoden the moment he needs to dodge out of his swing, which comes too late. Howling with rage, the man charges you instead. That's awesome. Oh my god, that's the best. Um, Hayden, bail. Hmm? You. Uh, let's fan out a little bit. Four mode. What you need? Hmm? Crap, he's hmm. gonna get wrecked. Oh, uh, fine. We'll just tank. Hmm? Yeah. We'll just go in. Uh, you do the attack. Um, let's knock down this guy. How can I help? Blinding strike. <laughs> I've been an effective hit, Ann. Run, hit, Ann! What the heck? Uh, weapon effective. What you need? You. Okay, you got knocked down. Knock him down. Hmm? You just keep running. Oh, I said keep running, you dingus. Okay, you get on him. Bonk. He's toast, excellent. Well, ah, here then, you dingus. Just get out. Oh, I can't bore anymore. Interesting. It's fine. Just sort him. Ta-da! Got the leader. Right. Cool. Your enemy lies supine on the ground, unable to rise. His companion is now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing, fist fitful gasps. He looks not at you, but the sky above you. Forgive us! Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a whisper of the wind stirs the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good. Good. 
Gods are just. I'm ready. Wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin like a jetty beginning to succumb to the surge of a great wave. And where it pierces you, you feel... Where it pierces you, it feels as though it is rending you apart from within. S seated against a wagon wheel amidst the howling maelstrom, slashed across chest and bowel, Adema's body stirs, and with great effort he raises his sagging head, his uh, eyes barely open. He looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! Book it! What? What is that? Straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands in the worn folds of weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up the precipice. With a last burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the edge. Hid and trails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he enters the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers, who'd been feigning death, lunges for Hayden and topples him onto the rocky ground. No, Hayden! Restrained, Hayden lashes out against his fatigued assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They're close to you, despite the wind from your position. If you were to throw your weapon at the attacker, you would have a good chance of hitting your mark. Um, It's okay, I'm a boar man. Your aim is true, and the hit jars Hayden loose. Lurching to his feet, Heoden clambers up to the base of the rocks. As he nears the top, however, the wind flares, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. But diving out onto hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it. Securing his other hand, you pull with waning strength, and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. They hold just long enough for Heoden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. There's a deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest, as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Well, that's not good. That's, that's really not good. Oh, that's so bad. Well, Kalisha, since we're going to be trapped here for a while. I'm liking this so far. That's pretty good. Was that? A Buick. Had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. They're the only ones. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Sounds great to me. So, that's episode one, folks. Thanks for joining me. Um, Pillars of Eternity is pretty badass so far. It's really badass, actually. Um, we've got a buddy. I like it. Oh, he's got like a, a sad thing too. Minus twenty accuracy. He's tired. Okay. Cool. Anyway. Folks, thanks for joining me. My name's Mal. We're playing Pillars of Eternity as our druid, dwarven druid, Gamorian. Dwarven boar druid, Gamorian. See you guys next time.